Nothing frames an image better than punching it out or die cutting it with a beautifully shaped die. And with Spellbinder's patented open die design, you can die cut your image and leave a portion of it extending beyond the border for an eye catching effect. Let me show you the tools and products you need to do this technique. First, you'll need a Spellbinder's die, and in this case I'm using one of the plain circle dies. You're also going to need a pair of sharp scissors and a pencil, and some sort of die cutting machine, and in my case I'm going to use my cuddle bug. So to begin, you want to stamp your image on some cardstock, and here I've used a piece of the 120 pound Gina K Designs Pure Luxury cardstock. You can also use the 80 pound cardstock, which makes it a little bit easier to cut if it's a very intricate image. But this one's a little bit bolder, so it's not too hard to cut. Then your next step is you want to line up the die exactly where you would want it to appear inside that circle. And then taking a pencil, you want to mark exactly where you're going to need to cut down to on your image. So there, as you can see, I put a pencil line there and there. That means that I'm going to cut this flower down just a little bit past those pencil lines. I'm going to do that for you now. Now you can see here, what I've done is I've cut the flower and I just extended a little bit past where my pencil lines were and then I've erased my pencil lines. Now my next step is to slip my die around that flower like that so that the rest of it is inside the circle die but this is sticking outside of the circle die. You see how that's done? And now we're gonna cut. Now I have my cuddle bug ready to go. I have my A plate on the bottom and my B plate next. And now I have my image with the blade side down, die on top, blade side down with that one piece extending outside the top. And I'm going to put my C plate on top and run it through the machine. And now I'm gonna take this piece out and you can see that I have a perfect circle with my image in the center, but a piece of that image is sticking out on the top. And I've created a mat using some more circles and a scalloped circle and when I place that on top you can see how pretty that looks. You can extend just one area of the image or extend multiple areas for another great look. Extending your image beyond the border draws the eye even more toward the focal image of the card and will leave the recipient saying, how did they do that? 